you've been working for over 10 years and still haven't made it to six figures a year, don't scroll past this video. My name is Anaya. I'm a 21-year-old six-figure Airbnb host, and I'm going to teach you how you could make more money this year. Becoming an Airbnb host is not as hard as you think, so let me tell you how I started and how you could start as well. I started Airbnb at 19 through rental arbitrage. Rental arbitrage is where you rent a property long-term from a landlord, and then you list this property on short-term rental platforms like Airbnb. These guests pay you nightly, but you pay the landlord monthly. Let me explain. Let's say I found a property on Zillow that looked really nice and had good amenities. First, I'm going to take this property and put it into staley.com to do some market research. For those of you who don't know what market research is, don't worry. Market research is just seeing what the laws are in the city that you're interested in, how much this property could actually make in profit and in revenue, and what other Airbnbs in the area are doing and making. If I like the numbers on this property, I can reach out to the landlord and see if I can rent their property from them. The best part is that I'm going to do it all under a company, so it's not under my name as a person. This means that I will get a corporate lease. After renting the property from the landlord, I'm going to furnish it, buy all the supplies, take photos, and list it on the Airbnb platform. Now, for those of you who are wondering where you're going to get the money to rent the property and to get the furniture, me and my students use business credit. Once this property is listed on the Airbnb platform, you will start getting bookings nightly. These bookings will not only pay for your rent, your utilities, and your cleaning expenses, but they will also be more than your expenses so that you actually profit and have money to keep. This is how you make your money make money for you, stop trading your time for money, and create more income for yourself. You deserve to make more money for yourself, for your family, and to have more time. I've been working in this business for less than three years and I've already generated over $600,000. If this was helpful, this Sunday I am teaching a free live class where I break down these steps in depth. I will teach you how you can make money by hosting on Airbnb in five simple steps. My class is free and it's linked to my bio, so you can't lose anything by coming. I hope to see you there. When you realize that everything is content, that is when you will win and that is when content creation becomes a whole lot easier. So many creators are in their head about their content or what they should be If you had to, could you spend a thousand dollars right now? If the answer to that question is no, this is your cue to start that side hustle that you've been thinking about and dreaming about for the past several months and pull it together. My name is Ken. I'm a dad, I'm a husband, and I was in the exact same boat just a few months ago until I made a choice. This is not Uber, it's not affiliate marketing, a network marketing where you only get a small percentage. You get 100% of profits of everything that you sell. This product is geared to towards several people. One, someone that already has a business that they don't know how to market and promote. Two, someone that wants to create their own products and they don't know how to promote them online. Three, somebody that doesn't want to take the time, doesn't want to bang their head against the wall. They want to buy it, put their name and stamp it across it and sell it over and over and over. That's me. If you're curious and want to know how myself and people in my community are seeing 300, 600, $900 a day, all from working from their cell phones, two hours a day in the nooks and crannies around their job, around their family. Comment Blueprint and I would love to get the details to you. This could definitely be your sign to open up that laundromat you never knew you wanted. Don't get me wrong, being a laundromat owner is a pretty sweet gig, but it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes you gotta be willing to do the dirty work. But hey, on the bright side, free laundry for life though, am I right? And yeah, collecting quarters, this part never gets old. I bought my second laundromat during the peak of the Rona for around $220,000 back in 2020. The seller was originally asking $300,000, but I was able to negotiate a few bucks off the top. I'll have to do a story time on how I was able to get that deal done and negotiate $80,000 off a $300,000 selling price. But with that being said, tip number one, you don't need the entire purchase price in cash. A common misconception is people see a purchase price of $150,000, $200,000 and automatically think, I can't afford this shop, I don't have $200,000 in cash. The best part is you don't need it. There are loan programs out there that can help you out with a down payment as low as 10% even some that specialize in laundromats specifically. Not all deals are created equal though, so keep in mind the down payment requirements may alter depending on your personal finances, your business cash flow, and or collateral. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed them. And I would like to introduce you in the description will be a link. I would like to introduce you to a man who has helped 67 people earn over a million dollars in commissions. And I would love for you to be introduced to him. Um, he will get you on the right path uh, to success. God bless and have a great day.